Now we're off to the number 48 Lerda Derg Street, which used to be the home of Frank Hardy, the Australian writer, and his funny sister, Mary Hardy, who used to be a comedian on the Penthouse Club when I was a kid. And she was hilarious. Okay, now is it here? And quite as... Or are we, have we come close? Oh yes, right here. I think 48. so. 48. So, perhaps we'd best bring the prop with us. We will. Okay, so it's that very modest little house just over here. It's number 48. So it's quite unprepossessing and it's got this really beautiful tree outside. Isn't the bark nice? <laughs> <laughs> and we just happen to have here a book written by Frank Hardy called Power Without Glory. It was lent to me many years ago when I worked at the Ballarat Flour Mill by a friend of mine and I've never returned it. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see this uh, clip. But um, there's a story that uh, quite a few years ago Frank Hardy came back to this house, knocked on the door and asked the people who owned it if he could buy the front door off them because he wanted the front door and they said no. So he walked away and I don't think he's been back. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It Do you is. think it was... Which part of the front door was it? Do you think it was that... Uh, I think it was would be the... that main beautiful piece, and which is sort of at the moment hidden behind the... the wire grill. Well, I don't think it was a flywire door he wanted to buy. <laughs> don't you? No. I, but he could have, <laughs> I guess. But if you look closely at that door, you'll see it's got a beautiful uh, pattern on it, two uh, square and rectangle um, sort of carvings into it. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. So, in this little street, in a country town, about an hour west of Melbourne, not even, Not even. minutes, called Bacchus Marsh, lived two of Australia's greatest novelists when they were growing up. And I just reckon that's amazing. And in the same street. Exactly. Yeah, I just think it's incredible. And I've never read it anywhere apart from piecing it together by visiting here and going to the local, that's Peter's car, uh, and going to the local book exchange with you, where yeah. that guy told us about, he told us the numbers of the, the yeah. houses. Yeah, in the book barn down in the main street. Which of course is another story where people sell their uh, recycled Sec books. Yeah, second hand books where you can buy a book today, read it tomorrow and sell it back to them the day after for a reduced price of course but uh, it's good and it's one of Bacchus Marsh's heritage pieces and it's been restored and painted and um, it's very, yeah, a lot of people visit it. They open the um, the little house that's connected to it, they open that from time to time. And people go in and people dress in the costume of the time. And uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Frank Hardy. How with that glory? <laughs> a novel. He also wrote a short story or a small novella about Bacchus Marsh called... Called... I'm not sure. Called Legends of Benson's Valley. That's right. I've heard that. I think you told me once. <laughs>